imagine being bullied and body shamed. You survived your respective challenges. What can stop you? Nothing. Housemates. Yes, Big Brother. You have won your wager. So Big Brother Nigeria housemates talked sexual assault, talked bullying, talked pain and lost dreams. But did they deserve this win when it comes to their wager? Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One, talking the Big Brother Niger show. In case you're new here, again, you are very, very welcome. Thank you so much for your comments on my last video. Thank you so much for your likes. And of course, thank you for subscribing. I see you. Now, in case you're new here, please don't forget to like, to subscribe, and of course, drop your, drop your comments on the conversation as I give you the stories. Now, this is going to be probably a very brief and short video. And that's talking about the wager presentation that the housemates had on Friday and the kind of comments I am seeing. So it comes to me as though some people do not know how these housemates came about the story that they presented on Friday. And that's why we're having the conversation as to whether or not these housemates deserve the win when it comes to their wager. Now, in case you do not know, immediately after Suji became head of house, of course, you know the way it is. Big Brother will give the housemates a brief on the next presentation for their wager. So Big Brother had already told them that, okay, they will be presenting something about, you know, not allowing your fears, your fears take over your life or stop you from believing in your dreams or achieving your dreams. So after Suja had read this brief, you know, the housemates took their turns to talk about certain things in their life that kind of like either shapes them or something that had caused pain in their life. And while these housemates were giving their stories, right? There were certain stories that really came to me as really touching or stories that really moved me. One of them would, would be the story of Nelly where she revealed, while, while she was speaking, she revealed that while she was really young, her mom left her with a, with a neighbor and then she at some point, the neighbors called her into their own house and then the man, that's the husband of the house, tried to have his way with her. Thankfully, that wasn't successful. And so she shared her story and she said that, you know, this is the first time she's sharing such thing and on national TV. And it's very interesting to see that people during the presentation were saying that Nelly didn't really do well. I'm like the fact that somebody comes to sit to talk about such a story of sexual assault on national TV is enough, is enough information is enough contribution already now after these guys had told their stories we had oc oc told the story about you know body shaming and how he felt wani and andy talked about bullying a lot of housemates talked about their pain like suj suj talked about his pain and how you know he was practicing one day and he broke a bone and stuff like that sean also talked about his pain as well they from those stories picked up the stories that were now filmed now let's move on from that inception to development. Onyeka played director, Ozi played producer as well as Osi and other people and they were able to like piece these things together. So the whole story was that they would be having a therapy session where these guys would be comfortable enough to share their stories of their pain and their trials and how they were able to like move through it or how they are seeking help to be able to move through the pain or past the pain. So you see them seated and then they are telling their, they are telling their stories. Now each person telling their story, while they were telling the story, it had to be reenacted. So you see that Nelly had to act where she was sexually assaulted. Um, Wani had to act where she was, you know, body shamed and all of that. That like each of these guys had to act when they were lost and all of that. They pieced all of this together and they had to submit it before Friday. So the team, the production team of Big Brother Nigeria would have to like edit this video and make it into a trailer. Even before the wager presentation, people could see the trailer and they were like, wow, this is really good. And so for the wager presentation that happened yesterday, we first of all had the red carpet. It's almost like a movie premiere, which they already had, which, which was like one of the concepts. So they had the movie premiere where they had the red carpet. We had Tofa and we also had Victoria as the red carpet host. And they like they interviewed most of the, produ the producers, the actors and all of that. And then we also had the movie premiere where what they had pieced together, what they had practiced, what they had rehearsed was now played. And we can see the stories of these people reenacted. And then we also had Onyeka give her vote of thanks. So did these guys, after everything, deserve the win of course they did i feel for me that they put so much work they put in so much work it's not as if they, they haven't put in so much work before but they put in so much work into the production of this 
to achieve what they have. And because I personally have a background in film production, I would understand what it takes to actually put something together and make it into either a short film, a film itself, a movie or a drama series. So I would say that these guys deserve their wager. And I would also like to give special kudos to certain people. Onyeka first of all, because Onyeka, despite the fact that, you know, she's always giving us a reason to speak when it comes to Big Brother Niger show, she's really talented and she really showed that. I would also like to give kudos to OZ, OC and Nelly. So in as much as, if you have been watching the show, in as much as, OZ, uh, as Onyeka was um, directing, there was input from OZ, there was input from OC, there was also input from Nelly as to how the rehearsals were going and the angles to which they were going. So they had take one, take two, take three. There was even the time when um, Anita acted as the DOP. They also had um, the cameraman and sound man. Uh, OC was the cameraman. Sound was Tofa. So everybody like put in one thing or the other. I would also like to give kudos to Cassia, who was like the photographer and the camera woman at the red carpet. I feel like each of those housemates, in as much as you know, sometimes they can trigger us, they can make us talk. These guys are talented. So, in as much as we'll be talking about their bad side or the, or the fact that sometimes there's a lot of misconception or people are having triangles or they're having fights, I think it's also fair to give these guys their flowers when they deserve their flowers, right? So, here I am giving the housemates their flowers as to how their wager presentation went and how, despite all the trials, you know, they were able to bring these things to light. And whether we like it or not, while watching, there is no way you wouldn't be able to relate to one thing or the other, either from your own angle or from a friend or somebody else who you can relate to, who probably had one of these stories or two of these stories to relate to, right? So guys, that's it when it comes to the wager presentation. I just felt like I really had to talk about it because I was seeing comments about people saying, oh, so far didn't do well when it comes to the hosting. Oh, Victoria is better. Oh, what is Anita doing? Oh, Nelly wasn't putting in too much. Like, guys, can you sum up their efforts and all they have done so far and ask yourself truly and truly like really are you sure these guys did not do well let me know what you think about the wager presentation in the comment section i know that immediately after the wager presentation there was a bit of quarrels here and there we had anita and tofa with their couple wahala again and then we had Mwani and handi um argue about you know how she's how Wani spoke to the housemate and handi was reprimanding her but this morning, the sisters, that's Wani and Andy, were able to like talk to each other and correct each other and they, they reached a compromise. Honestly, I know that my ex can be stressed about it's just a bit aggressive. But I get your point. But you can calm down when you talk to people. It's just the calmness in when you talk to people that I didn't hear yet. Yes, I would also like to talk about the fact that Big Brother allowed these housemates to sleep into the morning because you know that these guys they have tried. Like I have stressed them, I have asked them to freeze, I have put in whipped cream on their faces, and it has just been an interesting week. Remember that Sunday is eviction night. So let's just allow these guys enjoy themselves. Once again, thank you so much for watching my episode when it comes to the big brother niger show i got you with more right here on this channel till next time remember to enjoy every moment Mwah. bye